Okay, I am in Greenville with my mom and we have been doing a late Mother's Day celebration. It is Monday and she's off, so we're kind of just hanging out. And we decided we're gonna do a Q&A in celebration of Mother's Day, which was yesterday, but that's all right, we're still gonna do it. Um, so do you wanna ask me questions first or I ask you questions first? You can ask me questions first. Okay. Um, what, what are some of your fondest memories of when Taylor and I were children? Um, I think my best memories are traveling and it could be just around town or road trips, but our music choices and our conversations, and it's still that way. I, I just love being in the car with you guys. Um, what, what annoyed you about me as a child? <laughs> Um, sometimes it was hard to tell if you were happy or sad or annoyed. You had a very even temperament. So um, sometimes when I wanted you to show emotions and you didn't, um, it actually pissed me off. So. <laughs> Honest <laughs> answers, I like it. Um, what, what is something that made me cry? when I was little, mm. cry a lot, mm. okay. emotionally um, upset me. Oh, okay. Um, so on a daily, you weren't an emotional child, so you didn't cry a lot. Um, but when you were in um, kindergarten, uh, 4K, 5K, um, your dad came to speak to your class as a firefighter and just share some firefighting um, tips and ideas with, your, with you guys in your school. And when he went to leave, you lost it. Like you acted like he was not ever coming back, like he was leaving forever. I remember it was that. so bad. You were crying so much that your teachers ended up calling me at work um, to see if I could help them calm you down. Literally, I think at one point you were holding on to your dad's legs as he was trying to leave. So you were being dragged. <laughs> Um, what was something funny that I did as a child? Oh, okay. So, um, as a child, you did not, um, I, like you didn't uh, recognize color. So you wouldn't say, hey, the black lady, the white lady, or the black boy, you, um. I didn't. I, well, I should say, you didn't say black and white. Okay. You said all the colors, <laughs> but black and white. Like there were no black people or white people in your world. You um, you identified as grayish pink or um, gray or yellowish. And so I remember when I told you that your granny Patty was actually your, um, your dad's mom. And you in the biggest, I mean, most expressive way looked at me and was like, that grayish yellow lady is that brown boy's mom and I, so funny and I mean it's it's very real to me that um, you know just from that experience with you as funny as it was I do think that racism is something that is taught yeah um, it's funny because Archer now is even like hey mom you see that brown boy over there <laughs> or hey mom you see that white girl and I'm like <laughs> yes, Archer, I see them. Yes. Or like, yeah, what's that brown man doing? <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's very it's really real to see how um truthful and authentic kids are. Yeah. And that came through for me with you very, very early. And he'll also be like, Yeah, because mom, you just you brown. <laughs> I'm like, Yes I am. <laughs> um what is, I guess, one hope that you have for your 
children and grandchildren? Ooh, um, one hope that I have for my children and my grandchildren is that they will know who they are and live their true selves. Um, I think we've always lived in a society where people try to um, press upon you their ideas of you. And I just want you guys to be free to live out your purpose and um, your dreams. And I want you to do that with peace, contentment, and happiness. Okay, uh, what is one piece of advice that you would give yourself if you could go back 20, 30, 40 years? Um, the same, you know, right off the same uh, token of what I would want for you guys, I would want myself to choose for me um, and not for others and not to seek validation, but to stay in touch with who I am um, authentically. You know, if I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. If I'm a leader, I'm a leader. Um, and not to try to be anything else. Hold so on. yes, to be able to um, to be myself. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you want to be a part of the video? Yeah. All right, come on, sit on my lap. Stand up. Mom, ask me some questions. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions. You ready? Who is your best friend? Cece is. <laughs> Cece is your best friend? Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. Alright. What is your favorite food? Mm, pizza. Pizza? Mm. What is your favorite song? You got cupcake on your mouth from this morning. What's your favorite song? Um, What's your favorite song? Uptown Roads. Uptown Road still? Yeah. What about Chlorine by 21 Pilots? Yes. That one too? Yeah. What makes you happy? Friends. Friends. Oh, that's sweet. What makes you sad? Go into my room. Go into your room? Like if you get in trouble? Yeah. Oh. So what do you get sent to your room for? For being bad. If you make bad choices? Yeah. And you need some time to cool down? Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. What makes you feel brave and strong? Eating healthy. Eating healthy food? Oh, like what's your favorite healthy foods? Mm, corn, vegetables, carrots, yetis. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I've never seen you eat half of that. Um, what makes you laugh? You. <laughs> Me? <Okay. laughs> Who loves you so, so much? Who loves you a lot? And who else? Say And who else? And you. Yes, you better <laughs> save me. Crazy boy. Of course. And who else? Stop it. Please Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, your whole family loves you a lot. What else? Stop it, I do. What do you, hey. What do you want to be when you are a grown up? What do you want to do when you're a grown up? What do you want to do every day? Mm, eat cupcakes. <laughs> eat cupcakes? <laughs> and what else? Mm, eat pizza. Do you want to be a grown up that eats cupcakes and pizza? Yeah, and build houses. You're going to build houses? Yes. That would That's be cool. That really cool. What do, you, what do you like taking pictures of? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do outside? Play. Play? Yeah. Okay. One. Go this way. Scoot through. Beep, beep, beep. I love that. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. Okay. <laughs> um, what was the 
easiest part about parenting for you? Ooh, the easiest part was, um, I think having a schedule and a routine and I just absolutely wanted to be a mom. So um, I enjoyed like making dinners. I enjoyed um, your school activities. I enjoyed um, watching you guys grow. I, I think all of it was easy. What yeah. was the most challenging part of parenting for you? Um, letting go. So letting you spend time with other people, um, allowing you to go to sleepovers, just not knowing how other people lived exactly. So yeah, that was scary. And then as you guys began to become more independent, um, I found myself longing for you to be small again, like I wanted you to be babies again. How do you feel about the fact that we are about to move and create a mini farm? Um, I do you am, have any feelings about it? I do. I do. <laughs> I have um, uh, quite a few feelings about it. Um, at the top of the list would be my feelings of excitement for you guys. I think that it's a goal. It's a dream. And I'm super excited to see it come to be. Um, I also have fears um, when I think about you guys being out in the woods. I think about um, packs of wolves. And I think about... Um, you know, snakes and those kinds of things. And I want you to be prepared to protect yourself and to protect the boys. Um, we are. So outside of, <laughs> you know, those natural things that could happen or, you know, could just, you know, harm you guys. I'm so excited for you. I'm, I just, I, I, like I said, we are not um, the same in our um, aspirations. But the fact that you guys have them and you know how to go after them and you know how to meet challenges, that is something that I'm so proud of that, yeah, I just feel a whole sense of pride. Okay. Uh-oh. The boys are <laughs> having a conversation with one another. Okay, do you want to ask me questions? Yes, I want to ask you a question. So as a parent, what is something that you are proud of me um, as your mom? Like something that you feel a great sense of pride with? Um, the fact that I think you're resilient and you just, you get it done. Um, doesn't matter what it is, whether it be like personal things, career goals, um, you figure out a way to get it done. Um, tell me um, one mistake that I made that you you are determined that you're not going to make. What in parenting? In, in life. There's something that you know. Ooh, that didn't work. That wasn't a good idea. I'm not doing that. Um, I think as as. Me, like Taylor and I, I have gotten older there has been more um, encouragement to kind of find our own voices but I think when we were younger it was very much a do as I say not as I do or you are to be seen and not heard sort of environment and I it's hard but I'm really trying to make sure these guys have a voice when I say like my kids. And um, I think the hard part about that is we don't get to choose when, you know, like it's nice for your kids to have a voice when they're at school because you know that they're gonna stand up for themselves. But when they have that voice with you, it's challenging. But I feel like at home is the prime place to practice those sorts of things and so if you feel safe speaking to your parents or your siblings then there's probably no doubt that you not only feel confident in yourself when you step out and you speak to someone else but you know that you've got those people supporting you as well and so not that you didn't do that all in all but I want to do a little bit more of that 
Um, so, I know that you um, sometimes think that I am. Put your chair closer. A lot in terms of, um, <laughs> you're just like, the word for me is oh my. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but in all of my um, a lotness, mm -hmm. um, what is something that you admire? Do you like the way I put on my makeup? That you're consistently a lot. <laughs> so I'm consistent. You, you don't waver in your a lotness. <laughs> it's always a lot. <laughs> That's admirable. You know, it would be different if you were a lot, and I'm like, wow, you're a lot, and then you suddenly shrank back, but right. you don't care. <laughs> and that's admirable sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. I need to go really, really light with this. What color looks best on me? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Green. What's your favorite flower or plant? Um, oh, that's hard. I like a lot of plants. Okay. All right. Do you have a flower? Do I have a favorite flower? Um, I feel like I've always grown sunflowers out of habit just due to the fact that you like them and they're easy to grow. Um, so I enjoy them. Um, I don't know if they're necessarily my favorite though. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite flower. Okay. Um, let's see. What is um, the best part of traveling for you? Seeing new things, trying new things. Like if I travel, I don't want to, I have no interest in going to Hardee's or McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Like I can find that, you can find that anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want something new. I want something different. Um, so that's the best part of travel for me. Just new, the newness, okay. the freshness of something new. <laughs> okay. All right. This is going to be my final question. Has it been difficult for you to um, find your own self-expression? Did you find it so difficult that there were times you thought, eh, I'm going to be like everybody else or I'm going to do, not that you're not like everybody else, but you know, um, there is a traditional um, average um, way of being that, you know, a lot of people buy into. Of being, being Charleston. Of being know, what? Um, like a being, woman, a mother, a um, wife? I think all of, all of them <laughs> combined and I think that there is a, you know, maybe there is a trend for young 30 something year old women. Um, those types of images you certainly are far from. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like it's always difficult to go against the green. Uh, I feel like it's always difficult to go against the grain, but I feel like it would be more difficult to not be true to who I am, whether that be the fact that I have no interest in uh, the latest trend or the fact that I have no interest in 99% of the time dropping my children off with a uh, babysitter or you know I attachment parent I am like full-blown obsessed with gardening at age 30 which is probably not super typical um, we do a lot of things as a family um, which I can't say is the norm but I think being, and for anybody, being your authentic self is difficult when there are so many standardized expectations of what you're supposed to be. Um, but again, if it's if it doesn't serve your authentic self, then don't be it. Don't be it. Yeah, I think it's pretty much a waste of time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's been cool doing this with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Happy to take Archer to the park now yes. because he's been asking. But um, we will see you guys soon.